short, pit it till I score, make it rain till it pour. I'm a dog, all fours, put in work like a chore till I'm underneath the floor in the trenches like a war. If they wanna give them more, when I touch them, touch them, touch them. Tonight, from Raymond James Stadium in Tampa, Florida, it's a special prime time edition of the NFL on EA Sports. Justin Tucker ready to go here. This is going to be a ton of fun. Ravens and Bucks. Here we go from Tampa. From the end zone, here comes Jalen Darden. And he returns this to the 22. Tampa Bay's offense set to take the field. And, of course, the quarterback, 23-year veteran. Who's had a Hall of Fame career several times over? The great Tom Brady. For one month, many people thought they'd seen the end of the greatest quarterback career in league history. Of course, there were others who expected Tom Brady to come back, and he did so 40 days later for a 23rd NFL season. Leading the league in completions, yards, and touchdowns at age 44, he showed that he's as good as ever. But of course, losing in the divisional round, not the way he wanted to go out in his final game. For TB12, it's Lombardi trophies or bust. Now a man open down the middle of the field. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A first down there on a pickup of 25. Nice play there by Russell Gage, who left Atlanta, but didn't leave the NFC South where he signed to join Tom Brady and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. What a luxury for him to be a third receiver for this team. He forms a great trio with Mike Evans and Chris Godwin. Fournette, a first down carry. And he'll power ahead, but only for about three yards. Second down coming up. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Brady. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. Throwing his Brady on third down. And he will not be able to hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. The coverage strong. And now it's fourth down. Nice job there, forcing that incompletion. This is going to be a fun battle throughout this game. Watching him try to take away that area of the field. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. Brady to throw for it on fourth down. Going for Evans, but that pass is intercepted. Picked up by Patrick Queen. And the Ravens are going to take possession here at their own 47-yard line. Not something you see very often from a quarterback of his caliber, an opening drive interception. Oh, there's no doubt in my mind that even he's surprised at how that one played out. But we know this guy is not going to stop him from continuing to fire as this game goes along. Probably give a little nod of respect across the field for that one and let him know he'll be back the very next series. Two yards the gain on the keeper, and it's second down. To throw is Jackson. This goes out wide for Drake. 
And this will be stopped at the 44. That one good for seven yards. This is third and one. Very likely four down territory, even if they don't get it, though. They'll try and pick it up by running right the option to the right. And he's going to have the first down at about the 38. Able to get what they need to keep the drive going with a six-yard pickup on third down. On first and ten, it's Jackson. Looking left side, Andrews with it complete. And they're going to get this down near the 35-yard line. From the 35 on second down, Jackson rolling to his left. And he's going to be marked down just inside the 35. Well, you know, paramount for this defense is trying to keep Lamar Jackson somewhat contained when he tries to run. They did a pretty good job of it there. And you know what's so difficult for every defense that has to prepare for Lamar Jackson? You have to think and play at the same time. And I know that sounds like something you're supposed to do, but when you have to think about your assignments against him, it often slows down your feet. You don't move as fast. You've got to be prepared for this guy every step of the way and then try and match his athleticism. He finds Bateman over the middle. And all the way down inside the five to the four. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. First and goal, a chance to convert that early turnover into points. Jackson going to run. And this is going to result in losing yardage. They're driven back to the eight-yard line. That's going to go as a loss of four, and it'll be second down. are on the board first here on the road in Tampa. Tucker able to connect on the extra point, and it's now a 7-0 game. That time, a nine-play drive, and the exclamation mark at the end was Kenyon Drake's touchdown run. Darden now going to bring this one out of the end zone. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. Tampa offense ready to get their drive started. They threw an interception the first time they had the football, wound up leading to a touchdown the other way. How do you approach drive number two? Going back to your game plan coming in, everyone has matchups that they like better than others, or they think they have an advantage. Dial up some of those plays, try and go to those spots, and get your offense moving. Look at Mike Evans' way again, and he's got another one. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. 13 yards as they've got the connection working. His second catch in a row, first down. They fake the handoff. Now Brady. And that'll be good for eight yards to the 45. I do think it's fair to say that they were caught off guard a little bit. We decided not to throw it on first down. But give them credit. They recovered in time to deny him the first down yardage. But it's only second and short. So that run is still likely to lead to a new set of downs. A couple extra tight ends in the formation here as they line up third and two. And he will have first down yardage as he's brought down at the 41. Three yards there, good enough to keep the drive moving. I haven't met a football team yet that runs the ball successfully that doesn't talk about having an attitude to be a running football team, right? You can't be able to put your nose in there, smell where the first down sticks are. Oh, he can't get away, and Brady will go down. Patrick Queen got in there to stick him. He gets the sack. Don't need it all back at once, but you figure they're going to need something here. 17 yards to go on second down. incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. A long way to go here on third down for the eighth play of the drive. Now Brady gets away with one. Lucky could have been intercepted, but it falls to the ground. Well, nearly 
another interception there. That would have been two drives in a row with a pick. He's got to start taking care of the ball way better than what we're saying. Interestingly, that throw was probably worse than the one he threw the interception on last drive, but fell incomplete. Now, meanwhile, they go for it on fourth down, and my goodness, incomplete. The Bucs try it on fourth down, but come up empty. And this defense is going to get the football back near midfield, right at the 48. Break will start the drive on the ground. And running room scares here. He's going to be stopped in his tracks at the line of scrimmage. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. Jackson fakes the give and keeps it. And he's taken down at the 50 after a short gain of two. Anytime you decide to use your quarterback as a runner, most of the time when you design a play, you're expected to break a little bit bigger than this one because when you run him on short gains, your risk reward and him taking hits, I'm not sure that's the payoff they were looking for. And he will have a Ravens first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. the option here's Drake and he'll work this forward for about three at second down just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry no not at all they did a really nice job standing in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up and yeah, maybe a little over pursuit there as he's able to take this down to the 25 yard line that one good for 13 and a Raven first down They'll run. This is Gus Edwards. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. Vita Vea stopped that play in its tracks. With his size, he's a tough man to bring down, but they do a nice job there stopping his progress and not allowing him to get back to the line of scrimmage. On second and 12, Jackson. Open man is Duvernay. And in for the Ravens touchdown. Devin. 27 yards. And the Ravens have taken a 13 to nothing first quarter lead. Tucker with the extra point. And that'll make the score 14 to 7. So that winds up a seven play drive all told. And it's capped off by the Baltimore score. Darden now going to bring this one out of the end zone. And he's up past the 20 to the 22 yard line. So out come the Bucks now. They find themselves in a good size hole here, in a good size hole early on in this game as they come up on first down. Looking deep for Julio. And that is incomplete. Took a shot there on first down, but he couldn't reel it in. Brady's incompletion on first down leads to a second and ten. They'll look to throw here. A quick throw there, going to... Certainly seems like a reflection of what we've seen so far in this game. The defense, quicker to the punch so far. Let's see if they can get something going here on third down. On third down, Fournette. And he's not going to get anywhere close to the marker as he'll stop it well short of the line. It's a gain of five, but it'll lead to a fourth down. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off. A pretty decent gain. Gabbert to throw for it on four. Quick throw, fighting Mike Evans. And he's going to have the Bucks first down as they pick up a big chunk of yards to boot. 18 of them. Fournette on the counter. And across midfield he goes into Raven territory. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. They'll run it again with Fournette. And he'll get this down only to about the 46. Not much on that run, Charles. 
No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped them. Mark that down for a win in the defense's column. And unable to connect. If he had caught it, it would have been a first down. Instead, it's fourth. Oh, they go with a tight end carry. And he's got the first down yardage before he's brought down at the 42. Just a gain of three, but they'll certainly take it as they convert on fourth down. Okay, you and I are sitting up here getting ready to analyze whether they should go for it or not. Did you see the quarterback just point to the sideline and say, ah, uh -uh, everybody back. I've got this call. Well, you knew this. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. And the Ravens are going to take possession here at their own 33. So more problems here in this first quarter. Already two scores down, and here they give away the football. And if I'm the head coach, I think it's time to start lighting a fire under some of these guys. Now, you have to do it within your personality. They can't perceive it as fake. But I'd go get after some guys because they don't look ready to play to me. They look flat, uninspired. It's time to get moving. They run the option on second down. And he's finally taken down, and it's a big gain there on what will turn out to be the final play of this first quarter. 14-0 to score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Jackson running again, and he'll be brought down, losing yardage back at the 40. Shaquille Barrett there pushing up the field to make the stop. So their task a little bit more difficult now. Second and 13 that they're walking up on. Up the middle they go with Drake. And little room to maneuver there. He gets it down about the 39. The offense on third down tonight. A perfect three for three as they look to keep that streak going. This is third down and 12. He's got his man, it's Andrews. And he's going to be out of bounds down around the 35-yard line. So Jackson will head to the Ravens' sideline, and on comes Justin Tucker for the field goal try. Tucker's kick is good, and that will extend their lead even further. They already had the early lead, and they get the interception, Charles, and now they add three more with the field goal. Yeah, they're in control of how this game is playing out so far. You mentioned the early lead. Now they're expanding on it, getting plays on both sides of the ball. A winning recipe if they can keep this up. Well, time to get another look at this Buccaneer offense. As the offense comes out here, Charles, remember they threw the interception last time out, but they were moving the football down the field. Looked like they were going to have a sustained drive that ended in points, but then the pick ensued. And because of that, there's no way you can call the last drive a success. Yes, there are things to build on because they found some play calls at work. Now they've got to build another drive and find a way to avoid the turnover the play did on the last one. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. A first down throw for Gabbard. And this one caught by Cameron Bray. And getting this just shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. Gabbard now to throw on first down. A pass underneath for Fournette. And he'll be brought down inside the 40-yard line. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. From the gun, Gabbard. And oh, he almost had his second pick of the game. Probably should have. And he's frustrated as it falls incomplete. On second down, here's Fournette. And he'll take this one down to the 36. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. On third down, Gabbard to Evans on the slam. And he's going to be taken down with the first down at the Ravens' 25-yard line. They run straight ahead here with White. And he fights forward for a modest two-yard gain, second down. 
You've got to be impressed by the defensive front on rips like those. They were not being moved off the line, kept their shoulders square, and gave their teammates time to fight to the ball and limit that gain. The throw over the middle, take it in. And he's brought down inside the 20 of the 18 yard line. With a heavy set out there, three tight ends in the formation for third and three. They'll try and run for it with Fournette. And he will have the first down before he's tackled at the 12. 46 yards on the ground for him now on nine carries. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. To, to throw, Gabbard. And that's incomplete. Some of the fans here don't seem too happy about what we've seen in this first half. No, not at all. And I understand why they look lethargic, out of sync, and it shows on the scoreboard. Running left, it's Fournette. And he'll get this one down to about the 10-yard line. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. They'll be in search of eight yards here as they hope to convert the first down. Now Gabbard. And in for the Buccaneers, touchdown. Chris Godwin from 10 yards out. And the Buccaneers are able to make some inroads here to that deficit. As the offense went on the field to start their last drive, you know they discussed it in the huddle. Hey, if we put one in the end zone here, we've put ourselves in a position to start making a comeback. Extra point up and good by Sucka, and that'll cut the lead to 17-7. So that one, a 13-play drive in total. And it's Chris Godwin who finishes things off with a touchdown reception. Boy, still a half plus to play, but it is a two-score game. They're going to go onside kick early. And this one recovered by the hands team for the Ravens. A second quarter onside kick there that failed. Is that something that maybe they had dialed up before this game started? It feels like it, doesn't it? That they thought they had the right situation, you know, and, and the right approach and going after it. Also may signal that they feel like they have the superior team, that they can try these sorts of things and it won't come back and hurt them later. So second down, still 10 yards to go. Ball on the 43. Now a run up the middle with Drake. And he is going to lose yardage here. This will be a loss of three, and now a much tougher third down looming. Not an easy spot here. They'll be in search of 13 yards to try to pick up the first. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And incomplete on the deep ball. Well, partner, given where that drive started, that's an excellent job defensively to force them into fourth down. Tucker's kick is good. And that will open the lead up now to 20-7. to seven. Wow, I mean, it's so rare to even see one attempted from that distance, CD, let alone converted, but he came through with confidence and matches what was Tom Dempsey's 43-year NFL record at one point of 63 yards. Yeah, I can still see that highlight of Dempsey making that kick, and nowadays we see it a little bit differently because, remember, Dempsey was a straight-on kicker. But these guys nowadays, the range keeps increasing, and they keep putting it through the post. And they're able to get this one across the 35. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. Gabbard to throw it. Throw left side, hauled in by Otten. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Up the gun, Fournette. And yeah, he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right of the yard. The previous run, good for nine. Here's second and a yard. Again, it's Fournette. And he'll be brought down. It looks like right at the 40. Four yards, the pick up, first down. They go play action. Gabbard. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. 
An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Inside hand off now to Fournette. And they will only muster a yard here to the 38. Pretty good little two-play sequence there. You force the incompletion, then a very short pickup. Yeah, now maybe you bring in an extra defensive back or two because you want to try to defend on third down. They like to put those nickel or sub packages, don't they? Dumps it off to Fournette. They call it a loss of a yard there. And that's going to make it fourth down. So now they're going to send out the field goal unit to, as they say, fire away from long distance. They'll spot it at the 47, so call it a 57-yard attempt. And this is good from 57 yards out. That was bombs away right there. And that cuts into the deficit. It's now 20-10. to 10. That was perfect. From distance, he steps up, knocks it right down Main Street. Yeah, Main Street's celebrating right now with him, aren't they? I love the mechanics of the whole thing. Snap, hold, everything was right on target, and the blocking was perfect, and he executed so, so well. No run back here for DuVernay. Touch back out to the 25. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. Last time out, you remember their drive stall, but thanks to their kicker, booted a long field goal to at least get him three. Now here they'll try to do better and find the end zone. And in our experience, how much fun is it for coaches to know that they've got a kicker who can nail it from long distance? Now the hard part is, as an offensive play caller, you don't want that in your head too much where you're relying on it, and he goes out and gets the job done for them. But I'm quite sure he would be content to just kick extra points from here on out. Yeah, absolutely no question. I think his teammates would be okay with him just kicking the extra points as well. The Ravens on third down. They've converted three out of five thus far. This time it's third and three. And that is incomplete. Oh, he had a defender right there with him to force that to the ground. And fourth down now coming up. Fourth down, and out comes Jordan Stout here to punt. And here's a fair catch taken at about the 24-yard line. A 40-yard punt, no return, and the Bucs will get ready to go on offense. And Tampa Bay trots out there now. And last time able to get three. That's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drive. They'll take it. Just, I, I like the way you've described it. Not ideal, but they'll take it. Anything to put some points on the board. But this time on offense, they don't even want to see the field goal kicker truck off the field. They want that ball in the end zone. Yeah, they'll be going for six. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. A handoff to Fournette, and he'll power his way forward for about four yards there on the first down carry. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winging it in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Here's Gabbard now. And a catch right side by Evans. But a short gain of just over two yards as the first half clock dips inside of three minutes. It's simple drag route here. Lined up out left and tried to work his way back across the field. You probably saw me twitch there, partner, because I think he wanted the ball a little bit sooner. By the time he looked it in, the defender was right on him. And he is going to have the Buccaneers first down, although it doesn't appear to be by he needed four, he got four on third down. A pair of first downs gives him a first and ten up at the 44. Play fake, Gabbard. And that'll be off the mark, too far out in front, and it's incomplete. Well, they've been back on the heels a little bit here in this drive. A chance to exhale just a little bit there with incompletion on first down. And now they have to gear up, try and get two more stops, and escape this drive. Airing this one out for Evans. And at the seven-yard line, the catch is made. A big play that time for Tampa Bay. And even 50 yards. How about the first half he's putting together? Well over 100 yards already with that last catch. And to me, they'd be well served to keep looking his way. 
a number of big plays already in this one. They'll try and run for it with Fournette. And he's into the end zone for a Tampa Bay touchdown. Leonard Fournette, a six-yard touchdown run. And the Buccaneers have got it back to within a score. CD for them. This has just been an offensive explosion here in the second quarter. Yeah, it helped score us in the first quarter. Now they find the end zone again here in the second. Sometimes you just have to have some patience. A lot of people think it's always an adjustment. You have to change what you're doing. Sometimes you just have to do your game plan just a little bit better. And I think that's part of what we're seeing here. So just a three-point game now as they send this one away. Duvernay going to sit on this in the end zone, so it'll come out to the 25. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. As we eat closer and closer to intermission, Charles, remember last time out they punted. They would love to get points here, especially if this is going to be their final possession of the first half. Yeah, this is what close games feel like because the pressure is on both sides, but sometimes the pressure is a little bit higher on the team with a slight edge because they're trying to hold on to that, trying to increase it. So let's see how this one continues. Buying time to his left. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. Levante David making his presence felt in the backfield. Now after that sack, it's third and long for Jackson and the Ravens. And the play is stopped here. Timeout. It's a defense calling the timeout here. As they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. On third down, Drake. And he'll get this one up to the 26. It's a gain of just three on the offense, likely going to yield to the punting unit here on fourth down. Here's Jordan Stout now. And take it right at the 35. 13 yards to tally on the return there. And they will take over first and 10. Mike Evans and the rest of the offensive unit heading back out there now. Making his presence felt early in this one. First half, already over the century mark. How about the yards for completion, too? That's a pretty darn good number there. Number of catches, but he's shredding defense. is getting big yardage. 17 yards on the play and a Buccaneer first down. Final play of the half. Gabbard on the move to his left. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Picked off by Marlon Humphrey. And nothing comes in this last-ditch attempt at points as time will run out on this first half. So we have reached halftime here with the visiting Ravens out in front as we toss it an hour or so east of here to Orlando. It's Jonathan Coachman with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome in everyone to our downtown Orlando studios and this EA Sports Halftime Report. His guys lead, though by only a field goal. Still anybody's game. As we send it back to Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Okay, Coach, thanks as always. This one's still anyone's game as we welcome you back for quarter number three. It's been a shootout so far. We'll see which defense can make the adjustments as we get back underway in the second half. Duvernay now going to bring it out. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. They'll start the drive with Drake. And he's brought down at the 24 after a gain of four. And result of that one, a nice four-yard gain. So you can use that to set up your play-action game, or you can come right back and continue to run the football because as an offensive play caller, you're on schedule and feeling pretty good about your next couple of calls. Calling a gain of three on the play. And now it's third and four. Oh, it's time to give a little credit. 
right there to the defense. They played that very well because it was a drag route. And he ran a little shallower than normal as he worked straight across the field. He was hoping he'd get lost behind the defensive line. But once he made the catch, nowhere to turn the field and gain any yardage. The Ravens send their punt around now as he'll come on to kick this one away. Fair catch signal for and take it just shy of the 30-yard line. A 41-yard punt there with no return. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. Here comes the Buccaneers offense. They get their first reps of the second half. First down, Gabbard. Now a leaping catch, he's got it. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. This drive starting off on the right foot, 18 yards. And that was good protection there. No, that was great protection there because it allowed him to lock in on his receiver. Although I think he was looking for his tight end on the corner route all the way. Nice connection there for a really nice game. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and ten. Here's a give to Fournette, and they'll get this just to the 47, one-yard gain. They know that old expression, it's not my night. It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. Every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave him trying to convert on third and nine. He finds his target. It's Evans. And he's going to be taken down with the first down at the Ravens 37. And give it 17 yards that time as that'll move the chains. So in Raven territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 37-yard line. Now Leonard Fournette. And the play goes nowhere. Losing yardage back near the 40 at the 39. Justin Matabike firing across the line there and planning him for a loss. <laughs> I think sometimes when you're trying to get after the quarterback, maybe it's better to be lucky than great because I think on that one, he's just trying to get upfield and rush the passer. Instead, the tackle for the loss landed right in his lap. And this one almost intercepted. Far too loose with the football. Nearly a fourth pick of the ball game. On the shotgun, it's Gabbard. Looking downfield for Godwin. And he's got it. Caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. Chris Godwin. Two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the Buccaneers have taken the lead here in this third quarter. It's a very strong first drive in the second half, Charles, as they turn that halftime deficit into a third quarter lead. They were pretty purposeful there, weren't they? Measured in their approach. But boy, they executed awfully well, moving the ball down the field. Extra point put through by Sucka, and that will make this a four-point game. So this drive spans seven plays. And it's Chris Godwin who finishes things off with a touchdown reception. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. No run back here for Duvernay. Touch back out to the 25. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And right now, these guys, they're shuffling a little bit, maybe doubting, because three straight drives. And now Drake loses the football, and it's picked up by the Buccaneers. And his guys will take over at the 30-yard. The tie definitely seems, and now, as with every potential turnover, they're going to take a second look at this just to make sure. And the question, was the knee in fact down before this ball comes loose? And is the video convincing enough to overturn it? A lot of factors here, but you know, we also need clear possession of football afterwards. This is a tough one to overturn.
They say the knee was down, and that will not be ruled a fumble. The fumble on first down now. Here's second down. They'll hand it to Drake here on the option. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. The defense showing some anger after giving up the big play. This time they'll lose one or two. On third down, Jackson. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. And that gain of nine buys them a new set of downs. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. And now Jackson will look to throw it. He'll get five out of the scramble in second down. His running ability has been an extra dimension of their game plan thus far. For once, though, he didn't create any magic against the front that's prepared for him to try and take off. On second down, it's Drake. And slow going there as he'll only get a yard, maybe up to the 41. The Bucks with an extra defender now in the secondary here on third down. Jackson from the shotgun. And it gets Drake. And they'll get him down on the other side of midfield. I love the drive they're working on here because they know they can take the lead with a touchdown. And so far on this drive, so good. They moved the ball down the field with very little resistance defensively. But they better be prepared for some adjustments to come their way now. And the throw left sideline here is caught, but they'll rule it incomplete. Couldn't keep his feet in. Second down. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. From the gun, it's Drake. And he's going to be stopped up at about the 47-yard line. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. Here's Jackson to throw. And that's going to be incomplete. The coverage is too good there. The contact popped the ball three and four down. The Ravens in their punter out now. As he's on to punt for the fourth time tonight. And this will be up to the ruling of the side judge here. He says it crossed out of bounds at the 16-yard line. And the Buccaneers getting ready to go as they take the field. A long drive last time out for this offense, Charles. If you remember, they started basically in the shadows of their own end zone, marched it down the field, and a lot of that was through the passing game. The partners, a former defensive back, I'm having almost a physical reaction. And what's happening right now? Let's give credit where it's due because they've done an excellent job moving the ball through the air. Secondary can pick the part pass by pass. Obviously, they need to make some adjustments there on the back end. And yeah, because offensively, we know that they're not going to be shy about throwing that football. It'll be hit down at the 33, five yards on the play. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers, tight ends, because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big, big plays for the offense. They follow up the gain of five by only getting one there on second down. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. To throw is Brady. Over the middle complete. It's Evans. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. That one goes for 24 yards. The kind of game he's had so far, he had to know that on third down, that they would be looking his way, and they did for big yardage and the first down. I think the defense fell asleep at the switch on that one. I would have doubled him, tripled him, anything to keep the ball out of his hands. Two yards, the loss, second and 12. I'll tell you what, this defense hasn't played its best, but they're still right in this football game. If they keep making plays just like that, they're going to give their offense a chance. On oh, second and 12, Brady looking downfield for Godwin. And a penalty flag comes in as that one winds up incomplete, but the contact is going to move the ball well downfield. 
Well, there were about 70,000 that were quickly calling for the flag. It comes out there for pass interference. And what do you think, partner? A little sarcasm in that cheering from this crowd here tonight. What they're hoping now is to build a little momentum off of it and give them a more genuine reason to cheer down the road. No gain there as he kept it himself at second down. They're going to run this with a tight end. And he's in. Touchdown, Buccaneers. Co-Keefed, clutching it in a yard away. And they're able to add on to their advantage. That seemed pretty ideal there for the offense, Charles. You take a little bit of time off the clock here in the third quarter, decent late drive, and you pad your lead as well at the end of it. And what it does is it lets you feel like you're in control of this game even more so than a two-touchdown lead, right? Because you, you've taken that time off, as you noted, which means they couldn't get you off the field. You ran your playbook the way you wanted to, and you gave your defense some rest. What a big-time drive in that situation. Duvernay going to sit on this in the end zone, so it'll come out to the 25. The Baltimore's offense set for this next possession. You see if they can put this drive in the end zone, Charles, because it has been a little bit of a rough go at times. They've had to punt the football a ton in this ball game because of stalled out drives. So you said Jackson hit and he lost the football. And the Buccaneers have it. So that play, I mean, it was pretty well blown up from the start, and it results in turnover. Yeah, when you're running the option like that as a quarterback, you have so many different keys and reads to make that sometimes as you're making them, you're not protecting the ball the way you should, and it gets by free. 80 yards for him on the ground now. He has been a tough man to break down all night. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. Here's Brady to throw. A complete right side to Otten. Nine yards on the play there, and it'll set him up first and goal. And then defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful? You're losing play against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone. Yeah, yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. Maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz game, and you can drop anyone out of your defensive front, defensive end, defensive tackle. It doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. Four down, a first down carry. And he will maneuver his way down to about the seven. Only a yard that time, second and goal. Now Brady. And complete, right side to Tatum Rudolph. Touchdown! Touchdown to add on to that lead. Extra point up and good by Succo. And the lead is up to 18 now. So that drive, four plays. And it's all finished off with a touchdown by Tampa Bay. in the air. No run back here for Duvernay. Touch back out to the 25. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. Jackson hit, and he lost the football. And it's picked up by the Buccaneers. And his guys will take over at the 30-yard line. Well, if these guys wanted to get back in this game, they needed an almost perfect second half and down three scores. A lost fumble here certainly doesn't fit into that plan. That reminds me of my plan in college to get an A on the papers I turned in, but that didn't work out too well either. Too many mistakes by both of us. <laughs> I mean, that's just pure and simple. That's why that's exactly where they are in this ballgame. 
going to need a huge turnaround if they want to try and win this one. From the 25 on second down, Brady. And this throw incomplete. And the defender all over him that time, but it's going to lead to third down. They had great starting position to begin the drive, but now they look up at a third and five. And Boyd has it over the middle. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Fournette on the counter. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Buccaneers. Leonard Fournette, his second touchdown of the night. And the Bucs are able to extend their lead in the final seconds of this third quarter. Extra point put through by Suckup. And they open the lead up now to 25. A drive there of just four plays. And the man who finished it off with a run into the end zone, Leonard Fordhead. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. Duvernay going to sit on this in the end zone, and so it will come out to the 25. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And really, Charles, not much of a surprise that they're losing. They just haven't been able to get much of anything going in the pass game. And as you well know, in today's NFL, if the passing game isn't working, usually not much else is working either. Exactly right about that part, Eric. I know that right now, the easy answer would be, hey, let's run the football. But that might not be everything you need. So despite the fact that they've struggled throwing it, they've got to find some type of a play, multiple plays, that puts the ball in the air and allows for them to have some success. On second and seven, Jackson out to his left. And now look at this, big gain for the fumble. And it's picked up by the Buccaneers. And I don't know that that fumble's going to matter a whole lot. You look at the deficit here on the fourth. It doesn't matter. The coach on the sideline still scratching his head. And yeah, not only scratching his head, but probably writing a note or two about, we're going to address this come practice next week because maybe that's the reason we're down this far. It doesn't matter at this point, but being sloppy throughout the game, not going to help him improve. They give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. They'll, they'll run it again with four and a half. And he'll get a couple up to the 29. I know the game's not over, but there's got to be a sense of satisfaction right now for the guy carrying the football a bunch today. 99 yards, and he has enough time to go to the century mark. you got to give it to him again, right? Yeah, there's no doubt about it. You're not worried about losing yardage here. You're not worried about any of that. You just want to get him to the promised land for every runner. 100 yards or more in a game. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. A handoff, Fortan running left. And he'll fight forward on the straight ahead running for just a couple of yards, second down. The last run got a couple, here's second and eight. Fortan. And hard running's going to get him over the 40 to the 42. This offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where there'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from walking down the game. Right now, they want to show the world the right to the challenge. A couple of first downs on the drive already. As they'll go from the 47 now on first down. Brady gives this to White. And a good push there defensively as they stop him at the 48. A gain of just one. Now they'll throw with Brady. He completes it to Evans. And he's going to be taken down with the first down at the Ravens 40. And now they're in the hurry up. First down. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't take. I think it's fairly safe to call this game over, but they're still trying to bomb it down the field and add to their lead. 
almost makes you start to feel for the defense and root for them a little bit, too. 122 yards on the ground for him now as he's gotten better, really, as the night's gone on. This drive is turning to an extended one, and, and the guy carrying the ball, he's becoming more like a body blows guy. Every carry is putting some damage on the defense. So after a while, I'm not too sure how many guys are going to want to run up and tackle him. It's a gain of 11, and the Bucs have a first down. It carries like that. That's how they're going to continue to salt this thing away here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. Yeah, how about that? A new set of downs. Clock continues to move. No better way to close out a game than to tap those mastodons you have on front and say, guys, keep pounding them. Let's keep the ball, keep their offense on the sidelines, and let's close this one out. And now a play fake. Brady fighting through pressure. This is going to be intercepted. And the Ravens are going to take possession here. It's a touchback, and they'll take over at the 20-yard line. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And, Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things with this ball game, but the self-inflicted wounds, they've had several turnovers. You would have to think that's going to be something they're going to discuss heavily in the film session in the coming games. You're yeah, absolutely right about that, partner, because they're going to have to sit in that film room to watch every error that they made and figure out how to not do it in the future. And mentally... I think a lot of the guys are already starting to think about, okay, how do we put this behind us and get better for the next time out? This, they'll use as motivation for the rest of the time that they play to hopefully never be in this type of situation again. And he will have a Ravens first down as they're able to convert by plenty there on third and one. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. Now Jackson. That's taken in by Duvernay. And a five-yard game gets him to the 42. To throw again is Jackson. Pass incomplete. Another pass attempt, another incompletion, and they're just a little over 100 yards passing here in this game, so defensively, pretty good job. Definitely, because they were never really able to get the ball playmakers it's a lot of credit to the defensive game plan especially the execution here we go it's Jackson on fourth down he rifles one that's intercepted picked up by Levante David 20 10 5 and it's a pick six he brings it back to the house for the bucket air TD well, this one was already ugly, and now it's just kind of becoming a feast on the defensive side of the football. Yeah, partner, this is a unit that knows they've got this game in the bag with this huge lead. It's going to drive their coaches crazy because they're telling them to play it straight and do all the right things. But these guys are going to be freewheeling now. All of them are going to take chances, and that one it pays off with an INT and a return for six. here for Duvernay. Touch back out to the 25. The Ravens offense now. They get set to head back on the field. And you can sort of sense their dejection. That last pick six put the icing on the cake, so to speak, in what has been a rough go for them. Going for the deep ball. And that will be incomplete. Would have been a big hitter if they had connected. Instead, it's second down. Even with such a big lead late, the effort hasn't lapsed one bit. If the offense wants to score some points in this one, they're going to have to earn it. These guys are not giving up anything. Jackson's throw into the hands of Andrews. And the offense moving quickly to the line. On third and one, Jackson. And this pass broken up. Excellent coverage there on third down, as that was not an easy one to hold on to. As soon as he leaked out and began his route, someone on the defensive side broke with him and arrived just in time to separate him from another reception. 
Needing the tough yards, they run it with their fullback. And he's going to have a Ravens first down as he takes his up to the 38-yard line. Now the Ravens going to use one of their timeouts. It's just their first. They'll be down to two remaining as we step aside here in the fourth quarter. Jackson now. That's complete to his receiver, Bateman. Now before the second down play, we'll get whistles and a timeout. That's going to leave him with just one remaining here in this fourth quarter. Four yards remain for second down. Now it's Jackson. Oh, looking for Andrews downfield. That's caught inside the 20. And they've got this down to about the 12-yard line. But defensively, I know they have the comfortable lead here in the fourth, but they do not want to give up big plays like that. They want to finish strong. So oftentimes in this situation, you tighten up underneath in your coverage, and you bring your safeties back. They can pick up anything that leaks through. But in the meantime, on the field, you're making plays on the football. Ravens going to use their third and final timeout. So that will leave them with no timeouts left. Still plenty of time on the clock. We'll see how that affects things here in this fourth quarter. Play action. It's Jackson. And that'll be taken in by Andrews for a Ravens touchdown. Eight yards on the touchdown pass. And the Ravens get a small measure of revenge as they cut into this fourth quarter deficit. And we remember, of course, all scoring plays need to be verified upstairs, and I think they're going to at least take a look at this. So they called it a touchdown originally, and this will stay a touchdown after the video review, so they had it right. Tucker able to connect on the extra point, and that will cut this lead down to 25. So still lots of work left to do, but here comes the onside kick. And the Buccaneers able to recover. Their hands team does its job. Someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of an anecdotal type of a number, kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Throwing now is Brady. And this one too low. Well, they're passing attack, even though that one was incomplete. It's been really sharp in this one. It's resulted in a lot of touchdowns. And it looks like they're not going to stop throwing the football until the very end of this one. Well, that will certainly make everyone involved. And Brady going to be intercepted a third time. Picked off by Patrick Queen. And the Ravens are going to take over once again at their own 37-yard line. Here down the stretch, two picks now in the fourth quarter, trying to hang on to that lead. Talk about keeping someone in the game. Instead of being able to shut the door, it's still cracked open because they can come back on you now. Only people are really happy about those picks. Any fantasy team that has this defense. And Jackson going to have the first down as he will get to the ground to avoid the contact. Solid way to start the drive. 13 yards, picking up the first. From midfield now, here's Jackson. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there, and it's second down. Again on second and ten, it's Jackson. That's in the hands of Prochet. 
And this is going to lead to another first down as the tackle's made at the Bucks 40. The Bucks are going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts. That's going to leave them with just one remaining here in this fourth quarter. yards here as he's stopped near the 35 at the 34. The throw again on second down. Jackson, throw right side is complete to Andrews. He's tight in. And this is going to lead to another first down as the tackle's made at the Bucks 23. Throwing is Jackson. Yet again, targeting and fighting Mark Andrews. And they're going to be set up now with a ball at the 13-yard line. So, so it's Raven football here as we welcome you back. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. Inside the red zone here, they'll look to throw. And he'll go underneath here to Drake. And here he'll get it down to seven. Now you've got to hustle your guys to the line and get them set. Jackson will throw again. Steps away to his left. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. There's a classic second guess. I thought he had a better chance of a positive play if he just ran it himself. The coverage downfield was really good. That one falls into play. High throw there as this is knocked away. Down to the ground and incomplete. Try and throw for it with Jackson. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Picked by Antoine Winfield Jr. And the Buccaneers are going to get the football here as the ball will come out to the 20. The Bucs offense set to begin their next possession. And still a little bit of time left, but the defense can't stop the clock. So three kneel down should be enough to finish this one off. Brady's throw there, incomplete. The CD, they're up big, but they're still passing it. I mean, this is an offense that's had a lot of success in this game, and it seems like they're just having fun out there. And it does feel like they're doing a shift out there, doesn't it, partner? Listen, if you're up, you can continue to do what you want to do. It's up to the other team to make you change how you do things. They'll continue to throw it around until stopped. Now Brady on the bootleg. Steps away. And brought in by Bray. And he'll be taken down, but not until they work it across midfield. The Bucks forced to use their third and final timeout. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. when they said they felt like their offense was ready to put up some points. And my goodness, it has been a dominant display in front of a national audience. Yeah, yeah, they thought it. And it certainly came to fruition, didn't it? They've been dominant in so many ways in this one. If you weren't paying attention to this group before, you certainly are now after seeing this type of victory from them. And the kick is good. So you wonder how this one might be remembered the next time these two teams meet. But until then, this game's over. Well, partner, under the lights in prime time, this offense, they gave the nation quite a show, putting up that many points to come away with what would certainly be a memorable win for them. Brand, I think it's as simple as this. Some players, some teams, they're just meant for the big stage. And when they get a chance to play in this type of atmosphere, all eyes are on them and all the lights are shining brightly, they show up and they show out.
So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gaughan. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. The Bucks are winners here as we say so long from Tampa.